Hi, I'm Daisy from Design Squad Global. Check out this hydraulic system that I made. It uses the pressure of water to do work. When I push one side down, the pressure of the water makes this side go up. Hydraulic systems are very helpful because they can make work easier by spreading the force, the push or the pull, over a distance. The brakes on a car are a really common use of hydraulics. Pushing a brake pedal applies a force to the brake pads, which grip the brake discs and makes the car stop. I'm going to show you the materials you're going to need to make a hydraulic system. Then you can build your own and use it to solve a problem you come up with. So first, you're going to need some plastic syringes. They're pretty cheap and easy to find at a store or online and you can have an adult help you find them. You'll also need some plastic tubes. This is important, they have to fit around the tip of the syringe. You can get tubes like this at a hardware store. Bring your syringes with you to the store to make sure that the tubes fit tightly on the tip. Now here's how you make a hydraulic system. I'm going to be using a drill and some hot glue so it's time to put on some safety glasses. Attach one syringe to the tube and fill the tube with water to the tippity top. Then attach the other syringe to the other side of the tube. When I push the plunger, the water is pushed through the hose, creating pressure. And now I'm going to build a crane with a hydraulic system. I am hot gluing some craft sticks together. Hot glue can be very hot, so if you're going to use some, make sure you have an adult help you. Now I'm going to take two of my sandwiched craft sticks and put those together and make this the base of my crane. Now if you're going to be using a drill, make sure you get an adult to help you. Well, this doesn't look like it's going anywhere, but just in case, I will also glue it. Okay, so this is going to be the upright part of my base and I will be drilling a hole through here. It will be my pivot point. And now I'm going to be using yellow zip ties. These are the smallest ones that I have. See, this is where it pivots. So I want to make sure that it has free rotation here. I love zip ties. If you like zip ties, I like you. I want to make sure that it still moves freely. Perfect. So now I'm going to snip off this end so it doesn't get in the way. I will be drilling some holes into my plunger so that I can attach it to my crane. And there you have it, four tiny holes. This is the plunger to my syringe and now I'm going to attach it to my crane arm. And it goes up. And it goes down. It works! Woohoo! My crane works, my crane works, my crane works. I'm building an extension on my crane's arm. That way I can lift the load. I'm kind of building a tiny little forklift. It's going to be lifting a load of money. Let's test it out. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna bring my little bag of money. I have 20 pennies in here. Let's see if my crane will lift them up. And drop it down. This bag has 20 pennies. Try and build a crane that can lift even more. See what you can build with a hydraulic system. Could you design something that can help open a door or a drawer for someone who's in a wheelchair? How about something that can be pushed by your foot instead of your hand? If you decide to build a crane, show us how strong it is. Whatever kind of hydraulic device you decide to build, send your designs to the Design Squad Global website.